The aim of your first task is to get a feel for the car. I'll ask you simply to accelerate from a standing start and then bring the car to a halt in a controlled manner. Points will be given for stopping as close to the line as possible. The aim for this task is to drive in a clockwise direction around the cones laid out in front of you. Try to keep as close to the cones as possible and use the throttle, brakes and handbrake to give a smooth run. Here you will begin to learn to slide the car to gain a tighter circle. Now into a short track to practice the use of throttle and brakes together with car control around the corners. I will direct you as you drive round the course and give you pointers as to what you're doing right and wrong. Points will be awarded for control, use of the brakes, position on the track, sympathetic use of the car and of course response to my instructions. OK, it's the circuit round the cones again. We've placed them nice and close to give you a bit more of a challenge. Now, I want you to do a figure of eight, and guess what, we've moved the cones closer together. I'll be impressed if you can keep up a speed without knocking the cones this time. Right then, now you're a competent driver, we'll take you out on our biggest school track, so I hope you've learned your lesson well. Time is all that matters now, but try and remember, it's not your car. OK, we were going to take you to a real stage, but as it's getting darker and started to rain, I thought I'd give you another go on our big track. Right, here we are then. This is as close as you'll get to the real thing. The mechanics are waiting for your instruction on your car setup, so let's get started. Again, time is all that matters on the stage, but I shall also give points on how well you set up the car. The first intermediate task is to drive in an anti-clockwise direction around the cones laid out in front of you. Same as last time, try to keep as close to the cones as possible, using the throttle, brakes and handbrake to give a smooth run. I shall give points for speed around the cones and control while sliding. The second task extends the loop you did in the last task to become a figure of eight. Try and keep the car in a constant slide to stay as close to the cones as possible whilst keeping the car in motion. Next, I shall take you around a short stage. You will learn to follow some simple co-driver instructions. Points will mainly be awarded for speed in the stage. OK, we'll try the short stage again, but this time, as it's raining, you'll need to be a bit more careful. You'll notice that we've put different tyres in the car. When it's wet and muddy, you'll find that at certain times the throttle can be used to gain extra grip. <laughs> 